Hello once again, fellow flight simmers and cockpit builders. Well, hopefully everybody had a good uh, holiday season here and getting ready to start a new year. So hopefully it'll be a hell of a lot better than 2020 and 2021 have been. But anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about, right? Um, well, we got a great present, you know, for uh, the holidays this year. And um, I think that it's a very good thing. We got version 2.0 of Simvim X and a new version of the configurator, but overall a new version of the custom conversion in that new configurator. So in this video, we're gonna go over um, that new configurator, but I'm gonna do this in three parts because I decided rather than making a you know 20 to 30 minute video with a lot of information, I think I'm gonna break it down. So in this first part, I'm gonna talk about the new changes that, um, that are most uh, important in the new configurator some some little details you know that are going to be important for us to know and then i'm um, in the second part i'm going to go over how to convert your previous configuration that you might have already had you know with the uh, custom conversions um, in the dat files and then in the third part i'm going to do um, how to start a whole new conversion if you have never done this before and you don't have anything to convert all right so let's go ahead and go to the website here and um, the first thing that I need to mention to you guys is that you're going to need the, the new version of SimVim X to plug in. So the first thing we'll do, you know, you need to go over to the SimVim website, go to the SimVim plugin right here, and you'll see that they have version 2.01. Um, so that was released on December 28th, 2021. Um, I believe that they put out this 01 update one day after the original 2.0 because they found a little bug or something in it. So make sure that you have, you know, the latest version because what I'm about to explain to you guys in the new configurator and the new way of doing custom conversions is not going to work if you don't have version 2.0 or above. Now, the reason that that won't work is because if you remember before, uh, when you did a custom conversion, you would save a DAT file in the aircraft folder. And with this new version, the conversion is going to be saved inside the same data file. Um, and that's the reason why. So if you're using the old version of SimVim, it's not going to be able to find the, the configuration conversions because it's not going to be looking for that separate DAT file anymore. It's only going to be looking at the data file. Now, if we go to the configurator here and then we go over to the conversion guide, I'm pretty much is basically going to be um, telling you what's on the website here. But I like always say, I really, really recommend that you go in here and you read this because this is so very well done. I mean, even the first time when after I read this and I went and tried it, it just worked for me. I didn't have no problems at all. So if you even if you're still confused after watching this video, um, you know, I do say come and, and read this page because it tells you literally it tells you step by step, you know, what you need to do to, to convert a, an airplane that you already had made conversions for or to create a new one. But anyways, I'm not going to be talking about that here. What I'm going to be talking about is, uh, once again, you know, if you are not a, a Patreon or a Boosty supporter, um, I really highly recommend that you do because one of the benefits that you get out of being a supporter is that you get to download that plane's um, RSC file, which basically all it is, is if you go to this site here, there's a list of all these airplanes that they are doing the conversions for. So if you download this file and you own one of these airplanes, you don't need to do any conversions yourself. Obviously they're not all done yet. You know, there's a lot of them that are barely getting started. There's some of them that are in progress and the ones down here, the four down here are already completed. You know, but uh, so that would be one of the benefits of, of you know, being able to get one of these um, planes that already have the conversions made for them. And then all you need to do is fly and, and it'll work. Um, so another thing, you know, when it comes to the to the custom conversions, um, I've said it before many times. That's if you assign the keywords or parameters and they don't work right out of the box because your pay where aircraft uses uh, custom commands or data refs that's when you need to, to do these conversions. You definitely don't need to do them whenever you fly 
um, default laminar research airplanes and you might not need to to do conversions for a lot of the functions you know but there is on every payware aircraft so far that i've tried there is some things that don't work and that need to be converted so that's where this comes in handy so um one of the other things that uh, other than the fact that um you know that you need to have the latest version of the simvim x plugin another thing that is very important and actually i think that was here on the conversion guide at the bottom um if you remember before um you we used to be able to do um uh, custom keywords actually they're under here now so we used to be able to do custom keywords now right so you could name them whatever you want for a parameter that didn't exist so now they um, actually they took that away now and they made this generic toggle switches encoders rotary switches buttons LEDs and then even displays so now what you need to do if you go down here to the bottom you see that they say that the reason that they removed that was because not really too many people used it. They say, they say that only about five, only a few people use one to five parameters and only two people use more than 10. But I also think that that may have had a lot to do with the fact that maybe not a lot of people knew about it yet, you know, because they had barely put it in. And then before you know it, the whole custom conversion thing is gone and, and, uh, now you can't even do that but what, what's going to happen now is when you create one of these um generic switches or buttons or leds or anything right here um you're going to be able to um assign it and then do a custom conversion for it and then i think they're going to notice you know what function or whatever you you created and then they're going to add it to the configurator and then next time you load it up i think it's going to convert automatically to whatever function you you wanted to assign that to so that's one of the very important things about here so um i think that was pretty much um all i wanted to talk about on this part you know so those are the important things um the generic you know keywords which before used to be called um uh, custom keywords and then that you need to have the the latest version of simvim even right here you see it once again you need to have SimVimX version 2.0x, you know, which means version 2 or above. And of course, you should always have the latest version, right? All right, so um, I think that that's all I'm going to have for this video here, you know. So on the next one, on part 2 of the new uh, plugin and the new configurator, I'm going to talk about how you can import a previous DAT file that you had already created, you know, for your aircraft with some custom conversions. And you're going to be able to import it into here into the new one and you're going to be able to save it under the name the new data file um so that's going to be what i'm going to talk about in this next video hopefully i'll have it out very shortly after this one all right thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one